All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and prep this bag. This is a nice setup here. And we'll go ahead, these are the mounting bolts here on top. And then this is the air inlet fitting here. First thing I'll do is go ahead and put the fitting on. It's gonna be this 90 degree. This is gonna be the bracket. It's gonna be on top of it. We'll orient that like that and we'll bolt it on there with these bolts here. That'll kind of go through there. Well, this is the rear. And so for now, I don't exactly know what air management system I'm gonna get. So I'm probably gonna keep everything super simple. Uh, to me, that's just more stuff that can go wrong. So we're gonna keep the connections you know, minimal and make sure that we use some high quality stuff during this install and make sure we get everything clearanced. So we got the bag, this is the re rear bag. And then I really need to get the right tech shocks that come with that, it's rebounding adjustment. But I think they dial those in, they tune the compression stroke uh, for these bags. I may be wrong on that, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and keep our bill steins for now keep those on there and just try it and see how these things are. So I won't be able to adjust the shocks, um, but obviously we'll be able to adjust the air pressure here in the back. So that's kind of the goal here. I've got a couple things here. I've got other things. I've got a nice high quality DOT uh, approved airline. And I also have some grommets that will pass the airline through the body. So that's pretty cool. It's a quarter inch there. So I think we would drill it maybe three eighths of an inch. I got to measure that. Uh, so that'll give us a nice seal. And then for now, again, I've got some 90s that are going to go on the bag. These are push lock. So the lines will actually push in there, which would be super nice. And so I've got a T and some Schrader valves. So for now, we'll probably just use my compressor and adjust it, just kind of get used to how this thing's gonna work. It's gonna be a little bit of an iterative build here on the suspension on this air ride suspension setup, but uh, I think it's gonna be awesome. And for me, I just really wanna get the car where, you know, I can lower it when I want to. And these things are also supposed to, you know, the guys at Ride Tech used to race these a lot in autocross and stuff like that. I'm sure they have you know, there's a lot of tunability there. Obviously, you know, these are super adjustable with air pressure and, you know, increasing and, and lowering. And then if you get the shocks, and, and I was actually thinking about the QA1 double adjustable uh, shocks in the rear down the road. That way I can adjust the compression, but I can also adjust the rebound as well. So that's kind of the project here. We're gonna go ahead and do the rear. We're gonna get the car up in the air and we'll go ahead, disconnect the shocks from the top inside the car, but beside the back seat there. Uh, so we can go ahead and lower the rear down all the way. We'll pop the springs out, the Ebok uh, Sport Lines, which I've already sold. And we'll go ahead and get these uh, in there. Now, once we, once I put the fitting on, we got this bracket here. And this bracket is kind of cool. This is underneath of it. This is where the bag's gonna go. Uh, this is actually the hole here where the top of the shock goes through. So that helps secure it where the shock is. And then you also have this one. It's supposed to be a carriage bolt here, uh, a 3 8 by one inch carriage bolt. So the idea is with the carriage bolt, it's gonna have a flat head so it doesn't interfere with the bag at all. And then you have to open up a 3 8 a 3 8 inch hole uh, in the wheel well. There's already a hole there, so that's really cool. That's how they engineered this stuff, man. They already thought about it. And again, there's the two screws for the, uh, or two bolt holes there to mount the bag right here. And then we've got this opening, which will clock and make sure that's right for that fitting. guys so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take this fitting here it's a 90 degree it already has the sealant on it so I think we're good to go there we'll go ahead and this is also a swivel which is nice and like I said this is the push lock so once you push it in there you can 
kind of see that. Nice little brass fitting looks like. Go ahead and spin that around. Now swiveling, we'll go ahead and take a 9 16 wrench. Get this bracket on. I think we just, yeah, see it continues to swivel, which is really neat. I'll slide that on there, and then I can figure out which way I want to put that. So that's kind of cool. And then once I secure the line, it'll keep it from moving. So now that's kind of it. We'll go ahead and bolt the bracket down to it. This one's ready. This is ready to go in the car. I mean, it's that simple. Then from there, this will go around the pocket of the spring. So this will go around your existing spring pocket. And then this will sit kind of like that. And then it doesn't bolt to the bottom. It'll actually, it's gonna keep, it's gonna keep it from your current spring location. That's go ahead and install. I'm gonna go ahead and put together the, the other side and then we're gonna go ahead and get the car up and put it on some jack stands and pull the rear shock top mounts off so the rear will drop down. We'll get the springs out and then we'll go ahead with the next procedure of getting these bad boys on. All right, we're gonna go ahead and this one's gotta be expanded to 3 8 inch so we can get that, that mounting plate mounted with the carriage bolt. Apparently, it's pretty close. I'll touch up some paint on that just to prevent it from rusting since we've got undercoating and stuff on here already. Here's your two springs. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull the shock down to give me a little bit of room because I think I wanna route the airline near the where the shock comes through the body there and put a grommet on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way and then uh, we'll figure out how to get this beast in there. It's good. Kind of get it right here, just got it out of the way. Now, go ahead and grab the air spring and we'll see how it works. All right guys, got the air spring over here. And again, already prepped it, it's all ready to go. And it's gonna go kind of in this orientation here. You're gonna have this lag bolt. You can see, I'm sorry, the carriage bolt, I think is what they call it. That little square little piece there, that's gonna fit right in there. And that, that's so it gives it clearance in the bag, nothing's gonna hit it. And you can tighten the nut right here. We're gonna have a nut on the other side of this and that's really it shock comes up through this hole and you mount this bolt and these things are bolted in there's nothing to bolt in on the bottom it's going to ride right on the spring perch and i need to get a plate it's be this right here away from the bottom of the car and just get it up in the interior as possible so my plan is to run the line hopefully near the shock stud there somewhere around the bracket and then put a grommet in it and we'll go from there. So yeah, you can see here, this, and that's where the air spring is gonna ride on right there. All right, now the first thing I'm gonna do, cause I think it's gonna be a pain in the ass, is I'm going to, I'm gonna rotate this going this way. I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. 
make sure you got a super square clean cut this is where it's important because if you don't this is where leaks happen people say they have leaks they use some kind of janky tool to cut this line and that's it so go ahead and we'll just push it in all the way and it's gonna lock like that now it's nice and tight so now this is gonna go in with the lag bolt right here I'm gonna temporarily put it in there because I want to mark the spot where I want the let me get some more light in here let's be careful another problem people have is if you damage the bag or scratch it that's a weak point so be very careful getting this thing in here so there's sharp edges all around as you know so my advice is to take your time yep somewhere in there and you can see little holes right there that's where the carriage bolts gonna go through but for now we're gonna get underneath of it and mark where potentially my airlines gonna go so we'll pull that bag back out give me some room to drill you can see right there there's the this is the shock mount hole here and the bracket goes through there and then I'm gonna come right off here right on the side here where that little black mark is if you can see it yeah, you can see it. And just kind of come right through it, put a grommet on it. We should be all set. So that's the plan, guys. Went ahead and drilled the hole. Here's the hole right there. You can see it. I'll get you in there closer. That's going to be a 3 inch, a 3 eighths drill bit. And it's for a quarter inch grommet. So you can see there's the shock hole. It's pretty close to it. And I'm hoping it's going to come out right next to it and then I can route the line somewhere in the back but what's awesome about this setup is I think I'll have a really short line under the car which as most of you guys know air suspension you know exposing that air line under the car is kind of uh, one of the risks right rock chips and things like that so we'll see how that goes all right guys so here we go we got the bag on okay you can see here I got the plate it's sitting on. Super nice. You can see the bag is all in. And look at that, man. The line is just coming out of, of the bracket there, which is awesome. So it's kind of tucked up in this little frame area here, protected. Not a lot exposed. Goes right by the seat, the back seat corner right where the shock mount stud is. And I think this is gonna work out pretty nice. You can see here, that's where the grommet goes through the body. And wow, I think this is gonna work out nice. So I'm gonna go ahead, get the shocks bolted up, and then we'll test, we'll go ahead and test. We'll bring the suspension up, make sure we don't get any rubbing or anything like that. And then we'll go ahead and put some air in it from, uh, we'll put some Schrader valves on and see what we got, guys. All right, guys, there's the end result from the inside. Man, look at that. Nice and clean right beside the shock mount. And we could easily make some bends, maybe get up in this plastic here. I'll have to figure that out later. But I really like this location. I really like how short the line is. It's kind of tucked in in between the sort of the frame area there. Protects the line. So super happy about that. And there's the grommet. Everything's sealed up. All right, let's put a Schrader valve on each one of these. And then I'll probably put about 25 pounds to start with and then kind of test to make sure we're not hitting anything in the back. Go ahead, I've got the Schrader valve with the push lock. I'm gonna go ahead, pop that on there and put about 25 pounds in it. See how it goes. All right, guys, I think we got it all wrapped up. 
I went ahead, took the compressor and my gauge here, just kind of manual. And just got a couple lines here. Of course, we got to figure out, you know, where I'm going to run it and everything inside the car. But, you know, got a couple straighter valves, which is really cool. And then I just pumped them up to about 25 or so pounds to start with and gave it a, a one over under the car just to see how it would do. Put those back there. But yeah, I just had my lines back there. As you can see, you probably can't see, <laughs> kind of got dark on me. But uh, let's take a look here, what we got. So this is it, guys. We got it all there. Of course, the rear end's kind of drooped down. It's a little bit of a weird angle here, so that'll improve. Uh, but that's pretty much it. We got the line on, tested it. We've got some air in it now. So it's, got, it's kind of taut now. Uh, it's about 25 to 30, I think. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheels on and uh, get it off the jacks and we'll see what this thing's all about. I'll give you another little tour under it. There you go. Let's see if I can get it this way. All right, guys, so we'll go ahead and uh, let's do the front. So the first thing we'll want to do, I'll kind of walk you through kind of the disassembly, this assembly here. Um, obviously, we're going to want to take off our caliper. The rotor is going to slide off or move the front strut, those two bolts there, and leave the top on. My plan is to just take some zip ties, take this caliper and basically hang it at the top of this strut here. But that should get this out of the way enough. To do what we're doing instead of pulling the whole strut out here then take off your end link here um, and just as a reminder part of the instructions is we got to cut this down a little bit maybe to two inches here so this is a sleeve here so this will actually make it bring the sway bar closer down to the lower a arm here want to remove the spring we got to take off the bump stop too uh, but that bolt there is what indexes the drop spring plate so that bolt there where the bump stop is, is gonna be one for the new spring mount plate. And that's going to be what indexes. So we've got to drill a couple holes in the back side of the A-arm. And I'll show you this better once we get to it. And then up in the pocket, we're gonna to have to drill a 7 16 hole right in the middle. That goes up through the frame rail, okay? So you just have to make sure that's gonna come out right in the engine bay frame rail there. Um, so you gotta make sure you don't have any wires or any lines, fuel lines, brake lines. Once you drill that, cause that's, that's gonna have a nut on the top of the frame rail there on the inside of the engine bay uh, that these things mount to. The other thing is we have to cut out the outer rim of the, of the pocket here, the spring pocket. And so this whole lip here we're gonna have to cut that lip out and i'll show you a picture of that per the instructions uh, because you want to give that bag as much clearance as you can and then you want to do a nice smooth grind job to make sure there's no sharp edge edges obviously we're, de we're dealing with rubber bag here guys so uh, you want to make sure that that's the one thing that will damage these bags and uh, once we get them in we'll go ahead and jack up the whole thing make sure that we have plenty of clearance throughout the articulation and we should be good to go. So drill a couple holes and we'll have to use the uh, angle grinder and basically cut out that lip. That's not a pretty job. It's hard to do that round sort of work. We've got a uh, plasma torch, you're probably better off with that tool, but we're gonna use what we have here. And uh, once we do that, then we can go ahead and bolt on the plate that goes on it and then the bag will actually be installed and we'll walk you through that so that's the overall process there and so not too bad but i will tell you it's not for the faint of heart um, there's some cutting and drilling and you just got to make sure you you're careful there so let's go ahead and uh start to get things uh pulled apart here
Got the strut off the spindle. That just kind of rotates down. We're gonna leave that like that. We're not gonna undo anything here. Uh, the next thing is go ahead and get a jack. All right, guys, we'll go ahead, get this spring out of here. <laughs> and yeah, there's that too. Assembly's done. Oh, gotta get the bump stop. Keep forgetting about that. So we'll do that and uh, then it's ready for modi modification. Now the couple things again, we're gonna have to modify um, we're going to have to put two holes back here and you're really going to need like a sort of a angle drill, right? Because you, you're not going to have enough room where the engine is back there to be able to, to, to drill these two, I think. So you either have to pull this A arm out and drill it, uh, for the bracket or what I have is a nice little right angle group drill and that works pretty nice to be able to get up in there. So we gotta basically take a cut off wheel, cut off this lip here on the outside of the pocket. And then I gotta drill through here where a stud on the upper spring plate will go through. So that's kind of the next step there, guys. Guys, go ahead, we're gonna drill per the directions right in the center of that pocket there. So we're gonna get that drilled out. That's the one that's gonna pop up through the frame rail. So if you got any wires or anything, just be super careful. That should just pop right through. So you wanna drill that all the way through. Really, when you drill that, this is gonna be the stud that goes in the top of your spring pocket bracket. So the top of the, the airbag will be below this bracket here. This is the one that mounts the top of the airbag, okay? So this is the stud here that'll end up going through your frame rail. So just to give you a little context here. So we got that hole in. We're gonna go ahead and test to make sure this will go up in there. And then we'll go ahead and uh, cut the outer ring of the top pocket. All right, guys, that's kind of the bracket slid up in that hole with that stud. And the airbag will essentially bolt up to the, this bracket here, but that's what's gonna hold it up. Go ahead, that looks good to me. All right. All right, guys, whoo. Man, all, all I can tell you is just got to remove this outer sort of ring here. So there's that. And you can kind of see the lip on the inside. Basically all the way through here. Now we're just going to get our uh, stone out, our, our grinder uh, disc, and uh, clean all this up. But that's basically it there. This is probably the worst part of the job. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll clean this up. And we'll go to the next step. So, I'll take you in here. There's the pocket. All done. I kind of painted it just to kind of get some of that bare metal and protect that from rust. So... Overall, I'm pretty happy with this one. Again, take your time. The cutoff wheels are pretty big, so when you're trying to do an, a circle like that, you just gotta take your time, guys. All right, the next part is. We've got the lower mount plate that we gotta do on the A-arm here. And the way that works is this bolt here 
was where your bump stop was. So, and then you've got two holes back here and that will have to be drilled back here, okay? And that's where the right angle really helps unless you just pull this off, which is pretty simple. If you have your stock springs, you probably did this already. You pulled this off, so that's a pretty easy drill. So we'll index it by putting it on there like that. We'll go ahead and bolt that up, secure it, so we have the plate on it and it's nice and secure. And this is where the lower part of the airbag, there's a bolt that'll come through here and bolts to the bottom of the airbag, okay? So this is gonna secure the airbag and actually it's gonna be just like that. That's exactly where it needs to go. I'll take you around here. So that's gonna be our next task. We'll go ahead, we've got a drill. I'll go ahead and jack this up. Try to get it on enough angle here where I can get the drill bit in uh, this side of it. We'll go ahead and mark those holes. We'll drill through that and the modification stage is over uh, once we get those two holes in that's it for modifying so that'll be phase two complete then we're on and then we're going to go ahead and do the installation of the actual airbag all right guys i went ahead and marked the two back here i'm gonna go ahead and uh did a little pilot hole and now i'm gonna go ahead and uh drill the seven sixteenths drill bit through it and then we'll go ahead and bolt this plate on so we'll go ahead and get that done now let's get that drilled in guys so I'll go ahead and do that all right guys got the holes drilled went ahead and put the plate back on and test fitted and it looks good so we'll go ahead and secure the three bolts two in the back one coming through the top and that should be it guys the bottom plate will be mounted so we'll go ahead and secure that and uh we'll go on to actually installing the bags next we're on to the installation here we've got the lower plate on all bolted on ready to go so this bag will go on there then the top part is what we're dealing with here. I went ahead, screwed in our uh, elbow here, 90 degree air fitting, and that is a swivel so you can clock it the way you need to. And the way they describe this is you want this pointing towards the middle, I mean towards the uh, engine. So it's going to be like this, right, looking back at the engine, and then your airline is going to come out here. These are push locks, so you push it in, and then make sure you get DOT approved uh, line airline it's just going to be more better quality and less risk of any kind of leaks sure you've got teflon tape on there guys okay it's going to leak so i went ahead put that on there now we're going to bolt on the top plate which you've seen me already show here when we did the stud so again we're going to go ahead and clock this like that you can see it And then we'll go ahead, two washers and two lock nuts, nylon lock nuts, and that'll go ahead and secure the top part of this, guys. All right, guys, the other thing I did, kind of getting the line ready, I bought some of this quarter inch loom here and just as extra protectant, I went ahead and put it on. And I think that'll be some extra protectant there. So we'll go ahead, push it in the piece here, and then we'll start to feed this up into uh, the pocket. So that's kind of the next step, guys. So we'll go ahead and do that. Got the bag kind of sitting up on the plate here, and little by little, I kind of shove that threaded rod up through that original hole that I drilled in the middle of the top pocket. And that's gonna take you, and I don't know, I've got so much stuff going on here, guys. But it's gonna be in the frame rail, just a stud. That's just kind of popped up. If you look at your shock mount, 
just kind of come over to your frame rail and you're gonna need to see a stud. Then just take a washer and a nut. You're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket and then go ahead and tighten that one down. So that's the next step. We'll tighten down the top of this and the top of this uh, bag is mounted. The, the top stud, we put the bolt on that. So we're all good. Now we're on the mop bottom and we're gonna go underneath that plate right here. We're gonna go underneath that plate. There's a hole in it where we can put this bolt through. It's got a little lock washer. I'll go ahead and take you under here and see if I can show you that. Yep. There you go, right there. So that's the bottom of the bag, it's threaded. So you just have to get that bolt in there. So that's what we're gonna do now. And the bag is officially in and I went ahead, I routed the line through basically that little hole there. And then what I'll do is I'll, I think I'm gonna take it towards the engine bay and come inside the engine bay. So that's the plan guys, we'll see how that goes. Let's go ahead, we'll finish up mounting this bag and the bag is officially in. Kind of go up through here. Should be able to get that done. Then we'll tighten that bolt. That's it.